Welcome to another Meeples and Milkshakes Board Game Cafe unboxing video. I'm Jim, and today we have 14 boxes from a number of shipments. Uh, some really cool restocks have been waiting for a long time to get in good quantities. Some new things, and uh, I think some special orders too. So let's get right to it. We've been able to get this game in once or twice in very, very low quantities. This is King's Dilemma. This is a, well, it says on the back of the box, it's an interactive narrative experience with legacy elements. I always think, oh, this is a cooperative game, but it's not. It's actually very not cooperative. It's like a, this is a game of like political intrigue and bluffing and all kind of stuff like that. And it is for three to five players and you play a bunch of uh, connected scenarios. So you're gonna play this hopefully with, I think with the same group or is this the game maybe where you can bring people in and out of the game. I can't remember that part, but uh, you're gonna play a whole sequence of games in this, like a campaign uh, with legacy elements. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of, again, it's a lot of like politics, intrigue, uh, cutthroat stuff, really, really neat. I highly recommend you watch the um, Shut Up and Sit Down review on YouTube. It is great and uh, yeah. Really, really excited to finally have this in good quantities. King's Dilemma. All right, so first up, we have some new Keyforge stuff. Well, restock Keyforge stuff, things that we were missing. We didn't have uh, Mass Mutation and we were running low of Worlds Collide, I think. So now we have decks from both of those uh, sets. These are Archon decks. There's uh, 12, uh, 12 packs in each of these. Keyforge is a great two-player competitive game by the maker of Magic Gathering, Richard Garfield. Every deck is uh, unique in the universe. It's a very cool game. Uh, definitely check out keyforgegame.com for more information. Additionally, we have some more of the um, uh, organized play kits. These are organized play uh, kits for when we do tournaments uh, later this year. Next up, we have uh, undo. Uh, there are some open ones because I requested demos, so they've just opened them for us. So we're going to have these in the library. I don't. I believe these are replayable. I really hope they are. But uh, yeah, these are kind of like exit or unlock games, uh, but they're different. I think there's some like time travel bit with all of these. I think these are all about time travel, if I remember correctly. I read about them uh, a little while ago. I had. Uh, open house uh, where they were talking about these and I thought it would be great for the cafe so I brought in one of each and then I brought in a couple more a couple uh, to put on the shelves of each kind so uh, we have uh, weaving fate a new oh wait they all say weaving fate a new sorry peak to <laughs> peak of no return forbidden knowledge uh, another forbidden knowledge uh, blood in the gutter Ooh, that's grizzly see what else we've got in here I think there's gonna be more in another box we have some Marvel crisis protocol uh, miniatures that are special ordered we have amazing spider-man and black cat and we have Mysterio and carnage box is a little cratered in but I'm pretty sure the person who's going this is going to isn't gonna care so that's that's good the um, insides of this is like the minis are on sprues that you punch out and then put it together so shouldn't be an issue hopefully and then we have another uh world's collide premium deck this is actually a really good value it hold it comes with um two yeah two world's collide decks it also comes with five deck boxes it comes with a, a set of tokens and a premium chain tracker and it also comes with a box to hold the deck boxes so it's a really nice set, and I think anybody who likes playing Keyforge should get a Worlds Collide um, premium box for sure. There's a lot of stuff in here. And we have some Star Wars Legion special orders. We have uh, the TX-130 Saber Class Fighter Tank, say that five times fast, and a Luke Skywalker Operative Expansion. Very cool. And then I've got to restock of some um, capstone games, things that we haven't had for a while. We have uh, Watergate, which is a really cool two-player game about the um, Nixon-Watergate scandal. 
Very neat. Maracaibo is an awesome uh, game from Alexander Pfister. Um, sort of like a sequel to Great Western Trail, a little bit more complicated. Also has some, um, I don't know if it's legacy, but definitely campaign elements to it. And then, oh, upside down here, Cooper Island says, um, it's the epitome of an expert game. In it, you'll explore not just an island, but also rich strategies and subtle, subtle mechanisms and intricate clockwork that invites deep thought thanks to its strategic demands and clever use of landscape stacking. There you go. And then, what do you meme? This is a fun party game, and uh, we, have, we uh, always wanna have this in stock because people love playing this here at the cafe, and also uh, after they do, they like to bring it home. What do you mean? Okay, and then in here are some more um, Keyforge organized play kits. Um, play mats and deck boxes and things like that in here for when we run tournaments later on. So again, something to look forward to very much. Okay, so this box came super damaged and the uh, shipper acknowledged as they were giving it to me that it's all cratered in. So hopefully the contents are not damaged. I know this company likes to ship with uh, a lot of packing peanuts, so there's a good chance that everything's safe in here. Or that, oh, look at that. Here it explains it. Box in a box just covered in packing peanuts. So hopefully everything in here is going to be safe. Okay, so we have Risk. One of the corners is a little bit dented in, so we might take a couple bucks off, but really it's it's probably fine, other than a little bit of a dent on the back of the box. That's Risk, the classic game of uh, Warfare. A deluxe carry version of Scrabble, which looks very, very nice. And this is in great condition, no problem at all. So thank you, Packing Peanuts, for that. And here's the box that was in that box. This is three copies of Jenga. That's all there is to that. There you go, the awesome stacking game. People love playing that here at the cafe. And then their Jenga tower topples and everybody turns away. What's going on with that noise? But it's a lot of fun, Jenga. Another copy of Fairy Tale Inn. This is a cool new two player game. And then we have a bunch of copies here of Picture Show. Uh, it says there are some stories in the shadow. There are stories in the shadows. Observe them carefully and guess the right word, situation, or idiom. Um, so you're making, I don't know, there's some lights. It's kind of weird. Uh, using the sticks, animate the shapes behind the screen. Cool. Picture Show. Okay, next up we have a restock of Great Western Trail Rails to the North. Oh, this is upside down. Sorry about that. Great Western Trail Rails to the North. Of course, it requires a Great Western Trail to play. Great game by Alexander Pfister. Um, I haven't played this expansion yet, but I have played um, Great Western Trail several times and I love it. It's a great, great, great game. This one is special order for somebody and then this copy is gonna go out on our website or uh, be bought by somebody in store. And then we have a uh, restock of Catan Cities and Knights, which is a very popular Catan expansion. We are sold out again of that, so bringing in a couple more. Catan Cities and Knights. Now we have a new game here, Rhino Hero Jr. This is a uh, two, age two plus version of uh, Rhino Hero, which is gonna be much easier to play than regular Rhino Hero. Uh, this game encourages fine motor skills, basic counting and understanding of quantities, and basic understanding of playing by the rules. Haba always makes uh, very good kids games. We have a wide selection here, and uh, we're excited to see that Rhino Hero is being adapted for their 2 plus um, line as well. Now we have a few games that we brought in just for the library. So we have Crazy Tower, which is like uh, Tetris and Jenga all together. You can see there. You're trying to uh, fill up the cards and uh, keep the stack from uh, falling over. Pretty cool looking game for the library. And then uh, King of the Dice, a Haba game. It's a dice and card game, and it's for ages eight and up. Looks like a fun one to put in the cafe as well. And then finally, 
Uh, Miyabi, uh, this one also is for the library. This is a nice tile laying game by Michael Kiesling, very, very good designer by Hava Games. All right, now we have some more games for the library, at least this top one. This is a brand new game. We could have brought them in to sell as well, but we've decided just to start with trying to put this in the library. It's the Harry Potter Wizarding Quiz. There you go. You, d you just uh, push the buttons. And Welcome, young wizards. 1,000 questions about the Harry Potter universe. Guess if they're true or false. There you go. So, that's the game. Don't know how long that's going to keep on making sound for. All right, well, that game just uh, kept on talking and talking, so we just put it away so we can keep on going. Here's another game. I think this one's for the library as well. Yeah, yeah. This is a cool little stacking game called Tuki by Next Move Games. They make a lot of nice games. There we go. We're trying to get a lot more uh, um, lighter weight and family games in our library. We have quite a few, but I think we can have more. So we're just trying to add a, add a bunch of really fun games. Next up, we have a restock of Unlock uh, Star Wars The Escape Game. This has been very popular and every time we bring it in, it promptly um, sells out. So we brought in two copies this time and we'll see how long that lasts. This contains three different Unlock uh, scenarios. These are all replayable. Um, although I'd say if you're replaying them yourself, you'd probably want to try them at different difficulty levels or wait a long time in between plays. But otherwise, other you can lend the friends and they can play, as opposed to the exit games, which literally can only be played once each. Um, so these are a good, good value because they're like $33.95 or something like that. And they come with three, three uh, replayable scenarios. Really good value. And then we have... Cities of Splendor expansions. This is expansions for Splendor. There are four separate expansions in this box. I've played all of them and they are all very fun. I absolutely love Splendor and uh, I generally would prefer to play Splendor with these expansions as long as I'm not playing with new players. It's not that it really makes it that much harder, but I just like to give new players the base experience and then maybe add on Cities of Splendor afterwards. But I absolutely love these expansions. I think um, I think they're a bit underrated, to be honest. Really, really like them. One of these is uh, special ordered and the other one will be on the shelves. And here is Oceans. We're very happy to have this back in again. Um, it's been a while since we've had this, and it is a very cool game that's in the uh, universe of um, uh, the Evolution games from North Star Games, but it's under the oceans, so there we go. Happy to have that back in again. Okay, so first up we have Mass Transit, this is the cooperative transportation game. I think the plan was to put one of these in the library and have the other one uh, be up for sale. It's a quick game, a 20 minute game for one to six players. It says here on the box, it's rush hour. Your team of urban planners must work together to lay transit routes to the suburbs and keep the buses, ferries, and trains moving, all while limited in your communication. Get the six commuters home to their families before time runs out and you all succeed at mass transit. Sounds like a lot of fun. This is by Chris Leader and Kevin Rogers. Okay, here's another one that I'm very happy to finally restock. It is Stellar and it truly is a stellar game. It is a two player game by Renegade Game Studios. It has really beautiful art and you, it is a set collection game, a very strategic set collection game for two players. I don't know that the back of the box shows it very clearly, but you are trying to arrange the cards that you collect uh, on this on this um, sort of board. And uh, there are various competing ways that they score and it's very fun. And here we have another Renegade game. This is Vampire the Masquerade Rivals Expandable Card Game Core Set. It includes 290 cards. Uh, I don't know too much about this anymore. It was a heck of a long time ago that we ordered this. But uh, there's a whole lot of vampires 
Vampire the Masquerade's products coming out these days, role-playing games, board games, card games, all kinds of stuff. So this is uh, from that world. It is a two to four player game. It takes 30 to 70 minutes to play. And uh, definitely the art looks really good. And it comes with four pre-constructed player decks. So you can get going right away with this game. And then we have a game. This one was, uh, well, a game. Of course it's a game. Silver Coin. This one was special ordered for somebody. We just have the one copy. A secure investment for your village. So that is Silver Coin. Looks kind of nice. And then finally, in this box, this is pretty heavy actually, this is a medieval chess set. And look there, it is absolutely beautiful. Uh, and we're, we last uh, unboxing we opened the best chess set ever. Um, at least that's what it's called. And here we have a very, very beautiful medieval chess set with gorgeous pieces and a gorgeous board. So we're happy to finally be able to get some chess sets in. And just in time, a restock of Terraforming Mars because we just sold out of the base game. We still have some of the expansions, including a few copies of Prelude, uh, but now we have the base game. Literally just sold out of it, so really, really happy to have this back in. This is one of my absolute favorite games of all time, and uh, one that I'm looking forward to getting to the table again very quickly. Okay, here's another copy of the deluxe edition of Scrabble. That looks really nice. It has a rotating game board and a non-slip grid, which is very cool. Definitely a nicer version than the base version of Scrabble. And, uh, a month or two ago, we brought in Jumanji, a game we didn't even realize was being made because uh, it's a Spin Master game. Uh, and so we brought it in and it like immediately sold. We're just like, what? Holy moly, that lasted a day. Uh, so here we have two more copies. Oh, maybe more people want Jumanji. There we go. Don't know too much about this one, but uh, apparently very popular. And here we have two copies of Crib Wars. One of these is special ordered, and the other one we're going to have here on the shelf. and uh, Or maybe put it in the library, we'll see. And uh, yeah, there we go. I don't know Crib Wars, but I do, I do know Crib. Played a lot of that with my grandparents growing up and a uh, very fun game. Crib Wars looks pretty neat though. And we have a restock of Monopoly. Every once in a while, somebody asks us for a Monopoly and uh, now we'll have it again, back in stock. Similarly, in this game, has got some, there we go. Got all the packing peanuts out of there. Game of Life. Uh, very classic game. Kids love playing this here. It gets played at the cafe all the time. And uh, at some point, maybe we should have another copy in the library, honestly. But uh, there we go. Another one for up for sale. And here we have a base version of Scrabble. Just a basic version. So if you don't need anything fancy, this is a perfectly serviceable version of Scrabble. There you go. And we have the classic edition of Yahtzee, which is a very fun... Uh, roll and write game, really maybe the original roll and write game, and uh, at least the first one I ever remember playing as a kid, and boy did I play this a lot uh, growing up, and I still like playing Yahtzee. In fact, I've played it in the last uh, in the last year. Uh, it's a great game. That's Yahtzee. And then we have a restock of Uno, which we were sold out of, and one that we've been having trouble getting for a while. This is Monopoly Deal. You've probably seen this at other. Uh, non-board game focused stores like grocery stores and stuff like that they were able to get it but i wasn't for whatever reason but now i have it too and a restock of bananagrams this banana is full of scrabble tiles and the idea is it's kind of like speed scrabble uh competitive speed scrabble you have a big pile of tiles and you're trying to make words as fast as you can and uh yeah this is a really really fun game and one that i always get destroyed in but i just marvel at the people who are really good at this game bananagrams so here we have even more of these uh keyforge uh organized play boxes that we'll be using when we run tournaments later this year and one more uh, worlds collide premium box and one more already open undo. Let's see what's in here. So we basically got two decks of cards, 
and some instructions. Actually, just a just a sheet. That's it. Unless the rules have fallen out. I think the idea is that you use. I think you use an app with this game, just like with the other escape games. So we'll look in the other ones and see if there's a rule book maybe missing here. So yeah, here's here's some more of these uh, un undo games. I don't actually see it mentioning on the box that you use an app. I'm sorry, but uh, misunderstood. But actually, there's not a not a rule book in there either. I guess it's all explained on the cards as you play them. Uh, very very simple uh, game to learn, I guess. Otherwise, you would need an instruction manual. So we have a whole bunch of these undo games in here. We I think we have two of each. Two of each in here. So there we go, lots of undo. And then we have one more open undo for the library. And then we have one more uh, Keyforge thing here. I don't know what this is in here, but uh, this will be opened up when we start doing organized play. And we have a restock of Smash Up Marvel. Smash Up is a very, very cool game where you take two decks, uh, usually they're like in regular Smash Up, you might have like robots, uh, zombies, dinosaurs, pirates, imagine two of those types of things. And then you take the two decks and you shuffle them up and then you play that together and you try to make that deck work. And you're playing against other people who have done the same thing. And you're trying to uh, win control over the different bases and then you get points for winning the bases. It's very, very fun. And this is a neat uh, Marvel version. So, very cool. And it's the second time, I think, second or third time we've had this in now. Smash up Marvel. And here is the last box. We have more copies of Rhino Hero Jr. Uh, one of these is supposed to be a demo copy for our library, so maybe that other copy we showed you before was the demo copy. I didn't see a sticker, so I guess we can use whatever one we want for the library. Uh, very again very happy to have that Rhino Hero is a really good seller and honestly adults really enjoy playing Rhino Hero too so um, yeah really look forward to seeing how people like this version and finally we have another game for the library this is a nice kids game ages eight and up it was described to me as sort of like uh, what's that game Candy Crush uh, that mobile game that was very fun uh, and very popular for a long time so this is kind of like that. Swap candles, candies and create a blast. And then you collect the candies. So there you go. This looks like a really fun game for the, for the library. It has a four-way tilting board, it says. Pretty cool. Yeah, there we go. All right. So that is it for this unboxing video. Uh, lots of cool uh, games that a lot of people are going to be uh, interested in. We had a few special orders as well. Uh, I'm pretty excited to see King's Dilemma finally in and a really timely restock of Terraforming Mars um, and organized play stuff. Yeah, and empty boxes full of packing paper falling all over the place. That's exciting too. Anyway, <laughs> thanks very much for watching uh, this video. If you enjoyed it, please uh, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to our channel. Hit that bell, you'll get notified when new videos come up. Uh, please consider sharing this video uh, with your friends and your social uh, networks. Uh, that's really, really helpful for us. Uh, you can let your friends know that for the rest of the month, we have a two for one uh, special on Stay and Play. So you and your friend or um, friends can come down here and uh, play games from our library and save a little bit of money doing it and uh, enjoy all the great uh, food and desserts and drinks and milkshakes and things that we have to offer you to enjoy while you're playing. So again, thanks very much for watching this video and we hope to hear, see you here very soon. Remember, you can uh, browse our site at meeples.ca to see what games we have for sale. We also have over 200 games available for pre-order right now. Uh, so check those out. Uh, you can uh, guarantee your copy in advance by uh, pre-ordering. Uh, so thanks again. Have a great day.